there's been a new study that's identified a curious trend in our humanoid lineage. Researchers from RS University in Denmark wanted to look at the mutation rates of various primate species to see just how fast each lineage was accumulating mutations in relation to the others. This can be determined by measuring new mutations, or new genetic variants that have emerged in the offspring relative to their parents. Also, the age of the parent was taken into consideration, because this is pretty important. Take the male parent, for example. The male produces new sperm more or less continuously, and as the male ages, the germ cells in his testes can accumulate mutations as they replicate over and over again, and these mutations are passed on to the diverging sperm cells. The end result is that males generally contribute three times as many mutations to the offspring than the female per year of life. Soren Bessenbacher was a researcher on the project, and he said, quote, Over the past six years, several large studies have done this for humans, so we have extensive knowledge about the number of new mutations that occur in humans every year. Until now, however, there have not been any good estimates of mutation rates in our closest primate relatives, unquote. Naturally, this is where the other primate species come in. The researchers performed a genetic analysis of families, and they did the, the calculations for these families, for these parent-offspring trios, whether they be of chimpanzees or of gorillas or orangutans. For chimpanzees, the mutation rate per year was around 1.50. For gorillas, it was around 1.51. And for orangutans, the mutation rate per year was around 1.42. These rates make a lot of sense, because when we use these rates to extrapolate backwards in evolutionary time, all of the dates that we get line up very nicely with the fossil record and with the biogeographical distribution of every species. To put this another way, each primate species has a similar but slightly different genome. They're related, but they're not identical. The scientists can determine the number of mutations that make up that slight difference in the species' genome, and they can divide that by the mutation rate to calculate the approximate time that it would have taken for these species to diversify and speciate. They can calculate the approximate time it would have taken for all of these mutations to add up and create that slight difference between the genomes. And so, when the researchers did this, when they did all this calculating and estimating, the math lined up with the paleontology quite nicely. Now it gets weird when the researchers looked at the human genome, because it turns out that humans are mutating at a rate of 0.43 mutations per year, which is less than a third the rate of the other primates. The researchers say, quote, These estimates suggest an appreciable slowdown in the yearly mutation rate in the human lineage that is likely to be recent, unquote. This slowdown is likely to be recent because it doesn't seem to apply to the other great apes. For some reason, our genome has experienced a recent and drastic slowdown in its mutation rate, and we're not sure why. This isn't due to the agricultural revolution, or modernity, or anything super recent like that. When the researchers say recent, they're not talking about something that happened in the last few hundred or few thousand years. They're talking about a slowdown that took place over the last 10 million years. Perhaps at the beginning of this time period, the process for replicating our genes has become much more stable, and so there's a lot fewer errors and mutations that can uh, accumulate through replication. Or maybe we've evolved some mechanism that protects us from... Uh, suffering mutations from external sources, like UV radiation. And so, whatever it is, for whatever reason that our mutation rate appears to be slowing down, it'll take more research to really dig into this mystery and figure out why exactly this has happened. Mikhail Haida Sherup was also involved in the research, and he said, quote, The times of speciation we can now calculate on the basis of the new rate fit in much better with the speciation times we should expect from the dated fossils of human ancestors that we know of." Unquote. 
This discovery is pretty exciting, because with more data, we can get a clearer and more accurate picture of our evolutionary past.